everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, as you can see by the title below, this is a video on the Tipperary Equestrian Helmets. The reason why I'm making this video is because I was doing a lot of research about helmets because I needed a new one. Mine was about, I think, 15 years old and you need to change your helmet or it's recommended to change your helmet every five years. So I was in the market and I had my heart set on a 1K. However, when I went to go try them on, it just didn't fit my head. It was too loose at the back. It didn't matter if I went for a bigger size or a smaller size, it just was not working for me. So let me show you the helmet that I chose and I can tell you all the great things about it, what I like and what I don't like so far. So let's get started. Okay, so I have exactly what it's called here on the prices on my phone. So I'm just gonna read this off. So this is a Tipperary Royal Wide Helmet. So that just means the brim is a little bit wider than a regular helmet. This retails in Canada for $1.99. So what I really like about it is, first of all, the price is absolutely amazing. You can see my cat in the background. What I like about it is the price is really, really good. So instead of spending around $350 to $400 on a 1K helmet, which I absolutely adored when I put it on, this one is very, very price conscious and it looks very sleek and very modern, which I really loved. Again, like I said, it's the wide brim helmet. These are the straps on the side, so they are angled. The back one is angled, and then the front one is angled just slightly, but it is quite straight. It has a few air vents at the back, two at the back, four on top, and a few here at the front so that your head can breathe, especially in the summer when it gets really hot outside and you are riding outside or at shows. I really like the matte kind of plasticky finish because I feel like it's excellent to wipe down. So after a ride, if it gets dirty or if there's a scuff mark or a mark at all, it's very, very easy to wipe down instead of like the felt or the velvet types of helmets. So the buckle is a really nice closure as well. I will do a close up. It has a chin strap here, which is meant to go right under your chin and not hang down. So it has a little bit of padding. And then what I really, really enjoy about it and I really love that made me buy the helmet is this part on the back. So what it is, is a tightener or a loosener for the helmet kind of frame inside. So when you spin this knob, it tightens or loosens the helmet. So it doesn't really matter if you wear your hair up in your helmet or if you wear it down. I know that some people buy two helmets, one for showing and one for regular schooling because when they put their hair up in their helmet, it doesn't necessarily fit. And when they have it down for schooling, the helmet is too big. So with this one, this temporary one, you can adjust it to your liking. So you can loosen it or make it tighter, which I absolutely love. And then, as you can see here, the helmet does go down quite a bit in the back, so it does protect the back of your head. I know that some helmets, especially older ones, they come up very high, so they end about here, but the back of your neck is not protected if you have a fall. The back of your neck and your head in general is very, very sensitive and you could get a concussion or worse, a spinal cord injury. So I have just told you that I've had a helmet for about 15 years, so helmets have changed quite dramatically. So when I went to Greenhawk and I tried them on, I'm super, super glad I did because I was going to buy a 1K helmet with their sizing charts online. But for something like this that is really, really going to protect you if something does happen, you want to go in and try it on 
especially with a helmet fitter you want to make sure it fits your head perfectly and you don't necessarily need to add anything in add padding take padding away because you want it to be the perfect fit just how it is and then once you start wearing out your helmet the padding does go slightly so it can either become more comfortable or looser and that's when you can add some padding some fresh padding which a lot of different companies do sell with their helmets so how i put my helmet on is that i make sure this twist at the back is as loose as possible from my prior rides put my helmet on and then you want to make sure that your helmet is sitting just above your eyebrows so this is absolutely perfect if your helmet is tilted up like this it's a no-go it doesn't fit so make sure it's snug on your head you want to take the chin strap and clearly my hair is going to be tied back i'm not a psycho <laughs> So put your chin strap in again adjust it if need be so I will have to adjust my chin strap here just to make it a little bit tighter so if I do fall the helmet isn't going to just come off my head and not protect me at all. So your chin strap is fairly tight and then at the back here I will adjust and tighten at the back just tighten and adjust the dial as you please so it's snug on your head and then once you feel it nice and snug this is when I usually tie my hair back into like a low bun or a low ponytail so I'll leave the helmet on for the rest of the video here I wanted to do a video again on Tiberi helmets because I don't think they get enough love to be honest when you think of riding helmets you think of 1k you think of Grand Prix you think of Sam Shield you think of all these really really expensive brands and for someone who rides just kind of for pleasure now doing a few shows here and there you don't need to spend 600 700 800 even 900 dollars on a helmet which like i said at the beginning of the video you should be changing or should be buying a new one every five years or every time you have a pretty bad fall and you hit your head remember if you do have a bad fall and you think you've hit in your head make sure you check out your helmet for any cracks and things like that because then you know that first of all you need to buy a new helmet and second of all that gives you a good indication that you have hit your head and a concussion might be something that you have to look out for that evening and the next day I just also wanted to mention with that, the Tiberi helmets are SEI certified, so you are going to be 100% safe in that regard. Hope you enjoy this video. I hope this was informative if you were on your next helmet brand search. And I know Tiberi does a few helmets that have different designs in the front. You can get rose gold, silver, and they kind of look like a Sam Shield. And then I know that they do some kind of more funky ones for Western riding as well. That so with that being said, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.